Hi, I am Sharia Shavon. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and configure Squid Proxy to cache Linux packages. I make a lot of video tutorials which requires installation of different softwares on Linux. But my internet is slow. It takes a lot of time to download these when I test everything. It also requires a lot of time when I'm doing the actual recording. But it all changed when I set up a Squid Cache server. Now all the packages I download are cached in the proxy server, which is speeds up my download. In this video, I want to show you how I did it. I'm not a Squid Proxy Server Pro, I just got it working by some research online. So I'm using Debian 9, it should work the same uh, on Ubuntu, Fedora, Red Hat, CentOS, and many other. The installation differs, but the configurations are the same. So let's get started. First, I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to install Squid. Okay, the installation is complete. Now I have to configure Squid to do what I want. I'm going to the Squid configuration directory. Squid.conf file is the configuration file of Squid. I'm going to move the squidconf to squid.com.backup. I did that because the original squid.conf file on Debian is really, really long. It contains thousands of lines of comments. On CentOS, you don't have that, so I just want to eliminate the comments. I'm gonna do that with the grep command. I am also going to save the commentless configuration file to squid.conf. I'm gonna do it with sudo t squid.conf. Now I'm gonna edit the file with sudo nano squid.conf. This is the configuration file of Squid. I'm going to add a few more lines here for the caching to work. The first one is memory cache mode to disk. So all the caches will be saved on the disk first and then on the RAM. Then minimum object size will be set to zero. So we're going to cache everything. And maximum object size will be set to 120. Uh, 8 MB so that should be enough for most of what I do and then cache dir uh, specifies the directory where the caches will be saved and 2048 is the size in megabytes which is equivalent to 2 gigabytes so what I'm saying here is that I'm going to store 2 gigabytes of cache in Varsful Squid. And 16 and 64 is something that you don't have to worry. Now I'm going to create some rules so the .dev and .rpm files are cached for a long time. I'm going to add a rule for the .dev files first. And these are the options for ignoring the HTTP headers that are responsible for the expiration of the caches. I'm going to add another rule for the .rpm files.
and the last one is cash allow all this one tells squid to cash everything now I'm gonna save it okay now we have to restart squid It takes a while to stop squid. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why. Now, I'm gonna start squid again. Let's check the status of squid. Well, it's running correctly. One last thing I want to do is add a HTTP proxy to my apt program. This step will be different if you're using CentOS or any RPM based distribution. This one is for Debian based distribution only. This squid runs on port 3128. We can do an apt-get update and look at the squid log files, which is located on var log squid access dot um, log maybe you can see that there's two entries so our squid proxy server is working I'm gonna go back to my home directory and download a package using apt download, apt get download apache to bin, that's a big enough file for the test so you can see that the first time it's taking a while to download I'm gonna let it finish okay now what I want to do is delete the file and delete the cache, the apt cache. And I'm going to re download the file. You can see that it took only a second. So you can see how. The squid proxy is speeding up our downloads. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe my channel if you like what I do, and thank you for watching.